master plan for our goals and objectives and our action plans into the future. And that's why your input's so important. Obviously, as staff, we have certain goals and objectives we'd like to see it, but it really takes you, the community, to help guide us and put it into this plan and make it a successful program. This will all fit, all this feedback will get uh, fit into that master plan. And I think this, the park and rec board, I think probably sets a fine example for other elements of the city for planning from that perspective, mm -hmm. don't they? I mean, it's always been an important part of how they get things done. You know, the, the wonderful park system that we have and, and the, the overall uh, community access we have to the river, I mean, there's just, uh, you can see that as, as it's been developed with the Riverwalk and, and, and North End Park, and, and we're just very fortunate to have those places. And, and we still have that dedication shown in the um, purchase of new park property on the west part of town, we, we call it Clay Cliffs. Uh, I think the commitment was there in the past, and the commitment is there now, and, and we'd like to see what can happen in the future. In the winter, it's the Clay Cliffs Park, a snowshoe in there, or walk through there, and um, I think that Clay Cliffs is the best kept secret in the Rapids, because it is gorgeous back there, and if people had any idea how many little waterfalls there are, and how beautiful it was, that there would be way more people. There will be. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to um, being able to get some bridges over, because um, if I enter from Brookside side, I can't get over um, across, so I'm really looking forward to um, a lot so of the, uh, yeah, the clearing out of the, um, by the creek, because there's a lot of areas that have beautiful waterfalls, and you can't get to them because they're covered, so I'm really looking forward to see what we're going to have when we're done. And even more than Playscape, for some reason, they really like to be next to the river, um, and just um, that playground in itself is really well maintained. There, it's never too crowded. There's not older kids there jumping around. It's just a great spot to take your, your small kids. I don't see any reason why, you know, short of the gondola ride, <laughs> you know, the far majority of this stuff could make it into the plan. Whether or not it's accomplished in the next five years, that's probably, you know, a little far-fetched. But You are seeing a lot of the same things. Uh, saw a lot of the same things tonight that you saw in the surveys that came back. Or some of those, uh, I guess those, those trends. I mean, uh, the big thing I, uh, I saw was like the dog park and the uh, outdoor complex and the uh, winter activities. Yeah, extension the river walk. I think everybody realize, realizes uh, the absolute amenity that river walk is, and I think they want to see that expanded in any way possible, um, whether it be to other parks or expanded um, to the university. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, so after tonight, what's, uh, what's the next step? Where do we go from here? Well, the next step is we look at the old plan. There, there's some parks that we don't have in the old plan that we need to put in there. You know, and I think Mark Gifford kind of touched on this a little bit. It's kind of starting to decide now where we could put some of the wants and desires of the future. And looking where they make sense for the community and um, reduce conflicts and things like that. For instance, a dog park. I, I, you know, I have a, I've been around dog parks. They can be noisy places, things like that. It's tough to put them right next to a residential neighborhood. Yeah. And the reality of it. It's right across the street.